What if AI could think things through instead than merely reacting automatically? At a recent AI meeting in India, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang laid forth that future, which is full of revolutionary possibilities. Being intelligent takes more than one shot, it requires thinking, and thinking is reasoning. You may be plotting your course or running mental simulations. Although NVIDIA is now at the forefront of AI technology, Huang's revelations are expected to advance the field considerably further by 2025. These developments have the potential to completely alter how AI operates in the workplace, in our daily lives, and elsewhere. We'll examine how autonomous agents, physical AI, and sophisticated decision-making capabilities are poised to transform our understanding of artificial intelligence in this video, which delves into NVIDIA's future vision. Let's begin. Inference time was one of the most fascinating topics Huang covered in his speech. A scaling law at a time of inference is the second scaling law that we have now found. It may sound technical, but in reality, it's how AI considers its words before speaking. This isn't irrational. This makes perfect sense to all of us. Huang refers to the two layers of processing that collaborate in the design of NVIDIA's new AI models as System 1 and System 2 thinking. When you respond to basic questions without giving them any thought, you are demonstrating immediate and instinctive System 1 thinking. I would say chicken biryani is my favorite Indian dish if you were to ask me. Alright, so I don't need to give that much thought or use any reasoning. The AI doesn't have to process a complicated response in situations like these. It only takes a few seconds to get known information. For simple inquiries and chores, our reflective answer system keeps things quick and easy. In contrast, System 2 thinking emphasizes the need of taking time to think and reason. And I set a lot of restrictions on it, like what hour I may and will leave, the hotels I prefer to stay in, and so on. Naturally, there are a lot of different combinations of the people I have to meet. And so the planning of that process, coming up with an optimal plan, is very, very complicated. This is where AI begins to handle more complex tasks, requiring it to weigh options and consider multiple steps before providing an answer. For instance, let's say you're planning a multi-stop trip from Mumbai to California with specific timing and budget preferences. You know, for example, if I had to travel from Mumbai to California, the AI would analyze different routes, assess layover times, and find flights within budget to create the best itinerary. It's like consulting a travel agent who's considering all the factors you've provided instead of just giving a basic answer. So what does this dual processing approach really mean for us? Essentially, it allows AI to adapt its response style based on the task at hand. Reflexive answers are fast, while more complex answers are richer and more detailed. This Enhanced inference model could have a huge impact in areas like customer service, logistics, and healthcare, where the quality of the answer often matters more than its speed. It's a fundamental shift from how AI interacts, making it adaptable to different situations and more useful across various fields. But this approach also raises a few challenges. System 2 thinking can take extra time, which may not suit every application. What hotels I like to stay at, so on and so forth, the people I have to meet, the number of permutations of that, of course, quite high. And so the planning of that process, coming up with an optimal plan, is very, very complicated. For tasks that require immediate responses, like high-frequency trading or certain customer service scenarios, this deliberative approach might be too slow. Invidious enhanced inference. Model has impressive potential, but finding the right balance between quick responses and complex reasoning will be critical for its success. Huang also shared a bold prediction that autonomous AI agents will be commonplace by 2025, transforming how we work and interact with technology. This is a time now where the large Language models and the fundamental AI capabilities have reached a level of capabilities we're able to now create what is called agents. But what exactly are these AI agents? In simple terms, they're self-operating AI programs that can handle complex tasks without needing human 
supervision every step of the way. Imagine having an AI coworker who can assist with data analysis, manage customer support, or even create marketing campaigns on its own. NVIDIA is developing a foundation for these agents through two major platforms. But on top, there are two very important platforms I'm working on. One of them is called NVIDIA AI Enterprise, and the other one is called NVIDIA Omniverse. NVIDIA AI Enterprise allows companies to train and customize these agents for specific roles, while Omniverse acts as a virtual environment where these agents can learn and test their skills in realistic, simulated settings. Huang refers to this entire process as the agent life cycle. Enable agents to be created, onboard, deployed, improved into a life cycle of agents, which covers everything from training these agents to deploying them within a company. But that's not all. NVIDIA has developed Nemo. And so this is what we call NVIDIA Nemo. We have on the one hand the libraries, on the other hand, what comes out of the output of it is an API inference a microservice we call an EMS. A suite designed to manage and control these AI agents just like any employee. With Nemo, companies can train agents on particular tasks, set guardrails to keep them focused, and even evaluate their performance. For instance, if a company wants an AI agent dedicated to customer service, Nemo can ensure it doesn't accidentally cross over into tasks meant for a finance agent. NVIDIA has created a three-part infrastructure, the DGX computer, Omniverse, and Jetson AGX, to support this vision of physical AI. The hard lifting is done by the DGX computer, which trains AI models using enormous volumes of data to aid in their learning. After training, these models enter NVIDIA's virtual simulation environment, Omniverse, where they can hone their abilities in a safe setting that replicates actual physics. Here, the AI models are taught how to manage in-person interactions in a safe and efficient manner. Jetson AGX is used to deploy these AI models into actual robots or gadgets after they have finished training in Omniverse. Things get extremely fascinating at this point since AI can now be utilized in a variety of applications, such as self-driving cars, robotic arms on assembly lines, and even humanoid robots that engage with customers in retail settings. The objective is to integrate AI into the physical world in a way that enables it to manage actual tasks and have a useful influence on sectors like retail and logistics. Of course, there are drawbacks to this change as well. Physical AI raises concerns about job displacement, particularly in industries where manual labor could be replaced by robots. 